You shot an incredible eight under 64 today, even with a bogey. Tell us a little bit about your round. Yeah, uh, got off to a hot start, birdied the first two, birdied, I think, six of the first eight. So was really cooking along, um, then made that bogey, but bounced back with a birdie at the watering hole. So um, just a great day. Obviously did, did everything really well, drove it well, hit good wedges, short game was good, hold a few putts. So it's uh, when you do everything well, it, it ends up being a round like that. So you've got Danny Lee, Carlos Ortiz, and Mito Pereira kind of hot on your tail, and then some others at 11 under as well. What do you need to do tomorrow to break away from the pack? And yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough because there's a lot of birdies out there, obviously. Um, you know, it's kind of a race to 20 under par, I think, at this point. Um, I, for me personally, I just want to go and, and play as freely as I can. Um, I've been, been doing that well the last couple days, and if I can do it for one more day, then, then I think I can have a good chance. So stepping onto the tee box tomorrow is the leader at Liv's biggest event. Will be, there be some nerves on that first tee? Yeah. I mean, I'm nervous every day when I play. It's just kind of how it is. Um, but as long as you can accept that and, and kind of use it as just means that it's important to you. Um, so that, that's where I need the free, like, to play freely. I need that to come in. And tell us about the fan experience out here in Adelaide. Yeah, I mean, the fans are incredible. Obviously, there's a ton of them. Um, they're very supportive. Played with Matt Jones today, so obviously a little bigger crowds with us. And um, they're just having such a great time, and they're so respectful and fun and supportive. It's great. I can't say enough good things about them. And how was your experience on the watering hole? Yeah, watering hole was good. Um, you know, I, I just made a bogey on 11, and uh, I was able to, to step in there, and I hit it like three feet today. So that was fantastic. I love that. Amazing. I'm going to kick it over to Mike. Steely, so <clears throat> you and Danny and uh, Carlos at the top three, it's like a Tucson reunion. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking when she was saying that. Uh, how far back is Louie? And <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it, it's a little crazy, but I guess we must like the same style <laughs> of courses. And, um, you know, I think just like yardage wise and turf wise, we probably like the same kind of stuff too, which is a little drier climate and, you know, I don't know. But it, there's some sort of parallel there. You feel like you owe Danny one? Yeah, I give Danny a hard time about that putt all the time. <laughs> I mean, that was ridiculous. So <laughs> hopefully he doesn't do it again tomorrow. Uh, so you've shot a couple of 63s out here, but this is your lowest uh, re related to par. Do you, do you feel like this is the best round from you since when? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I had some really nice rounds last year. Um, but yeah, this is this is definitely the best round of the year uh, for sure. Um, you know, six under yesterday was really nice as well. But I, I was even in a little more control of what I was doing today. So, really happy with with how I feel with every part of my game.